Hey dude, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool image around here. And basically what this is, is a mini fridge. If you can see the one that we got right here is from this brand. And on this side, they do probably got some specs and features on the product. Let me just open up and show you guys what the inside looks like. So once you guys open it, this is what the product looks like inside. Let's take it out. So when you guys first take it out, if you see how the product is honestly wrapped up, let's take off the wrapper first. So once you guys take off the wrapper, here is basically what the product looks like. If you see for the one that we got right here, it's a pink color. They do have this available in many other colors as well. So you definitely want to do your own research to see which one I prefer. But pretty much in the front right here, you see we do have the brand logo. Right here, we do have the door latch for you guys to open up the door. And we'll show you guys what the inside looks like in a second. When you guys look at the side of the product, and also for the back part right here, they do have the ventilation fan to help you guys cool down the product when you guys are actually using it. But you see for the back part right here, they do have the different outlet. So there's the AC, DC, and then right here we do have the power button. So let's push it all the way up. That will turn on the warm option. If you guys turn it all the way down, that will turn on the cooling option. And if you guys push it in the middle, that will turn it off. And if you guys can see right here, they do have two indicator light. One for warm and one for cooling. So that way you know when it's on or off. And then for the bottom part of the product, they do have like a non-slip material. So that way when you guys put a flat surface, it won't move around. But that is basically everything that's on the outside of the product. Now let's open up and show you guys what the inside looks like. So let's do open up. Here is basically what the inside looks like. So basically have this smaller compartment for you to put stuff inside right here if you guys do want to. And screw out the side right here. They do have this material right here to prevent any of the heat or the cooling option from coming out when you guys do use it. But you see inside right here, we do have a lot of accessories. So let's take everything out. So first thing right here, if you can see they do probably guys a user manual to teach you guys how to set it up and how to use it. And right underneath that, you see we do have all the different cables. So make sure you guys what the cable looks like first. So here is the first one. So you guys can basically plug this into your car if you guys do want to. And then for the second one right here, you guys can plug it into the wall. So those are the two different options available for you guys. But you see the inside right here is actually very spacious for you guys to put a lot of stuff. But you basically have two different sections, one on top and one on the bottom. And you do have this little option right here if you guys do want to take it out. And for this part right here, you also have the option to pull it out if you guys do want to as well. So that way you can raise it up or put it back down right here. But for this mini fridge, they mentioned when you guys do put stuff in here, the maximum amount of cans you guys can put inside right here is eight soda cans. But here is basically what the inside looks like. Let me just go plug this in to show you guys how it works and when it actually works. And then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. All right, so right here, we do have the product all plugged in. But before we turn it on, I do want to show you guys the temperature inside with this temperature checker that we do have. So let's do open it. If you guys check the temperature inside, the current temperature inside is 73 degrees. So what we're doing now is close it up and we'll turn on the cooling option first. So as I'm turning on the cooling option, you guys want to push it down. If you see how it does light up, let me bring the camera a little bit closer. All right, so here is a close up view of what the product looks like when you guys do turn it on for the cooling option. If you guys turn on the warm option, it lights up on top. But then in here, when you guys do turn on the product, you can definitely hear the fan inside. But let's do its own thing to kind of cool it down first and we'll check the temperature inside. All right, so it's been a few minutes. Let's check the temperature again inside. All right, so you can see when you guys check it again, the temperature went down a lot. But if you guys leave it even longer, it'll get even more cooler. Now let's turn on the warm option to see how that works. So I'll raise it up. And now we'll let's do its own thing and then we'll come back and check on it as well. All right, so it's been a few minutes. Let's check on the temperature now. All right, so after checking temperature again, you can see how hot it got. It went to 132 degrees. So it is pretty hot or pretty warm inside. So whether if you guys want to use it as a warm option or cool option, it definitely does work. But I definitely love the fact that how small the product is, so that way it's super compact and portable to let you guys use at home, in the car, or anywhere else. But obviously once you guys are done, you have to turn it off. And it's basically all set. Now let me put some cans inside right here to show you guys what it looks like. So I do have a few cans right here. You guys do put it inside. So you can see for the top part right here, it fits four cans. And same thing applies to the bottom part. So I close it up. You can see how it fits inside there perfectly. So you can see the product definitely does work. and actually works quite well. Welcome back guys. So now a quick test about it and definitely actually does work. and actually works quite well. But I do notice that majority of the time when I see people use this mini fridge, they usually use it for like skincare products or even just soda can in general. So whether if you guys want to use it as a cooler option or the warm option, that is totally up to you guys. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we did some boxing and test some product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. 
So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you guys are market looking for a high quality mini fridge that has a similar design that's on here as well. Then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.